Hi guys, welcome to this Arduino tutorial for configuring a Bluetooth module. In this video, this example, we're going to use the HC05 Bluetooth module, which is quite common with Arduino. You can use HC06 and other equivalent modules, but I'm going to use the most common one, which is the HC05. And we're going to be able to configure a module using AT commands using the Arduino uh, serial monitor in IDE. So here's an example of an HC05 configurator that was built previously. You've got the, uh, the jump DuPont wires, you've got the UNO board, and you also have the module, the HC05 module. It's conveniently labeled on the back. You know which pin is which. And we've also got some um, duct tape. We've duct taped five of the female ends of the wires so that it makes the detaching of the modules a lot easier. So all you have to do is just align the pins with the right color and just insert it like that. So it just makes it a whole lot easier. Now we have the Fritzing diagram right here. I would like to show you how all the components are connected first before we uh, start building this thing. So um, if you take a look at the module, you'll see that there are five wires connected and I'll just explain, I'll just go through it with you. So first we want to power this module. So we need the VCC and the ground, so the positive and the negative, five volt and ground, so that will power up the module. We have the TXD and the RXD, that's for sending and receiving uh, messages and instructions and so forth. To, uh, from the Arduino board to the Bluetooth module and back. So there's the TXD and the RXD. So you've got to allocate two digital ports for that purpose. Now at the top here, we have a pin called key. And the whole purpose of key is that if you want to be able to debug your module, you need to send a signal, uh, a high signal or a one signal to the key in order to put it into the debug or the AT mode so that you can configure this using uh, Arduino IDE. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab our Bluetooth module. We're going to connect the wires to this module first and you'll see why in a moment. Now, we're going to connect the RXD to yellow. If you want to write this down, be my guest. We're going to connect the RXD to yellow, so put all the wires in first. We're going to connect the TXD to the orange. It's pretty much the same as what's on the Fritzing diagram. We're, going to, we're also going to connect the ground wire to black. The VCC to red, that's our negative and positive respectively, and last but not least we're going to connect the key wire, or the EN wire, well the green goes into the EN, so just like that. Okay, just like that. And we're going to get some sellotape, duct tape, whatever you wish to call it, and we're just going to cut a piece Now I'm sure there are better ways of doing this, but this is how I normally do it. So what you do is just, you want to sellotape all of this together so that when you detach it, these don't separate and it's easy to just attach the new modules. So as a matter of fact, I think I need a bit more tape than this. This is not enough. It's got to be slightly longer. And uh, you want to be able to wrap it round. So sorry, I'm just gonna Just uh, cut this down to size a bit. And just uh, wrap this around. So if we could do it like this. Yeah, don't worry if there's uh, tape sticking up at the top, it's fine. You can always get more pieces of tape and just wrap around it. Just. Um, Yep, just wrap it right round. Just don't let it cover that, that state pin at the top, so you want to 
Right, now uh, you can just take it out now and uh, just, yep, wrap, just push it down like this. So now, just make sure that you insert it the right way. So you want to make sure that the red is on VCC and the black is on ground. Otherwise, who knows what might happen. And you can just do that, just like that. All right, we don't need the uh, sellotape and we don't need the scissors. Uh, we don't need this just yet. We'll just put that aside. All right, now what we're going to do is we want to connect this to this. So easy part. Connect the red to the 5 volt on the power section of your Arduino board. So that's 5 volt, which is here. And connect the black wire to the ground. Either one of these two will be fine, so I'm just going to plug it into this one. Okay, there we go. Now, um, this will also align with the program in IDE, which I will show you in just a moment. We, we need to know where do we connect the yellow, the orange, and the green. Well, other than looking at the Fritzing diagram, we're going to connect the yellow to 11. So, and then connect the orange to 10, and connect the green to 9, just like that. So there we go. That's, uh, that's your physical configurator. Now the next thing we need to do is get the program from IDE into the board. So on the top left corner, we have the Arduino IDE code, which we're going to upload into the uh, configurator. This is just a one-off thing. We only have to do this one time, and then we'll never have to do it again. So um, I'll just try and dissect the code as best I can. So first thing we need to do is create a um, software serial instance called BT Serial, or anything you like and that's going to be uh, to interface to the Bluetooth module, right? The uh, RX and the TX, which will be 10 and 11. So we uh, normally you, you can allocate 0 and 1, but uh, there's no problem with uh, allocating to another port. So we're going to use 10 for RX. RX connects to the TXD, and the RXD connects back to the uh, TX. So, okay, so you can have a bi-directional communication between the Bluetooth module and the Arduino Uno module uh, in serial. Now, uh, so we are going to use uh, pin 9. Now, I did mention about this uh, key pin here, or the EN pin here. We need to put a signal, a high signal or a one signal into this in order to put this into a debugging uh, AT mode, which uh, this REM statement will kind of mention about it. So we need to set digital uh, pin 9. We need to write a high signal to that in order to put it into the debug mode. And then we'll be able to enter the commands, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, and um, by default, we use 38,400 board for the module. So um, now down here within the loop section of the code, we want to make sure that any commands and any messages from computer to the module or any um, commands and messages from the UNO board to the Bluetooth uh, module, uh, it's bi-directional. So any messages in the serial monitor will go, will be read and written to the uh, HC05 and back and vice versa. So we want to make this a bi-directional thing. So this part here is responsible for, as it says, it allows for commands and messages to be sent from the computer, aka serial monitor, to the HC05, whereas this part here allows for commands and messages from the HC05 to computer, so it's uh, bi-directional. So it's, you know, sending and receiving and so forth. Now, let's um, get this connected. So we want to take our uh, HC05 configurator, Let's plug it with the USB wire and let's also get the module in. And once we have done that, we're going to just make sure you go to uh, tools, go to port, make sure the uh, right port is chosen. And then you should be able to upload. And just wait for it and let's... And now it's done uploading. Now let's see how well this works. So let's go to the serial monitor 
and uh, it will say enter AT commands. If you want to be sure that this whole thing is working, that your module is working and so on, just type A T, capital A, capital T, and send that. Once it says OK, then it's all good. Now, if you want to know a little more about your module, what you could do is type in the uh, command. Uh, let's say, for example, you want to know the name of your module, so AT plus name, N-A-M-E. All right, the name is HC uh, hyphen zero five underscore PCM zero zero. You, you, of course, might have a different name for your module. And you can also check the address as well. So if you do AT plus ADDR, okay, the address is 13 comma EF comma B1BF. So this will be quite useful if you want to say, for example, have two modules connecting uh, with each other. That will probably be done in, an, in another video in future. So uh, if you want to know the address of your module, this is how you do it. So it's basically AT plus ADDR. You get the address, and um, if you want to know, for example, the uh, board rate, the UART, AT plus UART, right now it's at 9,600. Uh, if you want to reset your module, what you do is type in AT plus ORGL, and it will reset everything back to its factory settings. So if you configure this thing and you make a complete mess, just type in AT plus ORGL and it resets everything. And how do we know? If we go to check the name, the name will be the factory setting name, which is this one. And if I want to give this a proper name, so I could say AT plus name equals, uh, I could put my initials PCM, check the name again, and now it's called PCM but I want to put it back to its original name, the name that I had previously, which was the HC05 um, underscore PCM00. So I label all of my modules. They all have unique names, so I don't get confused. Right, so AT name, and then HC-05 underscore PCM00. And just to check, right, it looks good. Um, I want to change my uh, board rate. We'll call it, uh, let's say, 38,400, comma, zero, comma, zero. And just to double check, yep, it's right there. Okay, it looks like uh, this thing is actually working. So, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. So, thank you so much for watching, and uh, please stay tuned for all the other future videos which will feature the HC05 Bluetooth module and some of the other projects that will involve this module. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Take care and goodbye.